right, that's Echo, untrustworthy. Has to have a leash on. Uh, awesome dog, but follows his nose. That rules his world. Amber, good girl. Trustworthy, I believe, but unless you're on food, don't leave your food unguarded. They're excited to be out here, obviously. Uh, Echo's a pot hound. He was a rescue. Brian's dog. Uh, pretty interesting breed. They were bred for big game. Bears, mountain lion, uh, wild boar. Don't see them up here very often. When we came across them, the boys and mama had to have them. I sort of balked at it, but I'm glad we got them now. Good addition. Plus, I, I know he'd die for the kids, so nobody come in the house without his permission. <laughs> area for duck hunting waterfowl used to have to um, walk down that trail and then cross the footbridge looks like now they got the levee wall built up you can just walk right across that's a ducky looking area for sure Yeah, we just hunted this for the first time this year. Nice. tree over here maybe we'll try again he's gonna get ticked at me Seconds. Distance two miles. Pace nineteen minutes thirty five seconds per mile. Split pace twenty minutes eighteen seconds per mile. Open water over there. Probably between ducks and fish. They get a pretty good diet down here, huh? Hey buddy, we'll see you. <coughs> Raise those babies. So 
so we're at about the halfway point um here's where i decide do i want to take the road cut it short or continue on the trail another three maybe four miles um i'm leaning towards that right now it's beautiful out here <coughs> dogs are doing pretty good i go i need my hands free for a minute amber's having fun you want me crazy much uh, so yeah we're having a good day i think we're gonna continue on so uh, beautiful day out here i really having a hard time seeing why i should call it cut, cut it short there's the river behind me all right we're gonna continue on well we just missed it on camera but uh, we were walking and Echo perked up and real interested in something. I look over and there's a big mink running across the ice. I couldn't get the camera out fast enough. But yeah, oh, was he pretty. He was boogieing away. He didn't want nothing to do with us. So it's pretty cool. Walking. It's pretty much the last leg. This is a pretty, pretty area. I've never been never walked uh, west of here but it doesn't look like there's much walking to be done I mean they got a nice trail there but someday up here this uh, bridge is where you put in for duck hunting um, this area you park well there's a driveway it leads up to this walkway but then you can't park there you got to park about a quarter mile up the road so everybody backs their trucks down dumps off their gear shuttles it all across the bridge and into the boats and you can either go over here or there's a couple stake areas on the south side of this levee We'll get to those point about a little bit here. If I do turkey hunt, I'll probably hunt this area over here. Or area three, I'm not sure. Riding in the back of the truck. I think we got a cap, huh? All right, so that makes eagles, mink, deer, ducks, and geese. No turkeys, no coyotes. But we're not done yet. No beaver. Yeah, I know they're out there, buddy. I know. That's why you're on the leash.
We just made it back to the truck. Uh, pretty good time. We, uh, looks like about 5.8 miles. 5.86 miles in two hours. We didn't break any records. We didn't plan to. Uh, it's just a nice hike. So um, I'm gonna get some stuff straightened up in the truck. Get the pooches inside because it's warmer in there. But uh, I need to put my cover over the seats. Good dogs, huh? We had fun. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.